now we are at uh, Arctic. Arctic is a global recognized player in the checking and the ranking sector, occupying fourth position in the industry's top 10 global rankings in 2020, with a market share of 8%. As of the end of 2020, Arctic had a total installed capacity of nearly 32 gigawatts, having successfully installed nearly 1,100 projects in some 40 countries and markets around the world. With the arrival of the PV industry's new Intelligent Plus era, the company released a white paper on new generation artificial intelligence photovoltaic checking solutions showing its outstanding strengths in R&D. Let's see which of Arctic's flagship products are on display here. We are delighted to be joined now by Guy Long, Arctic's President of Global Business. Welcome to PV Tech's coverage of SNEC 2021. We realize you are busy, but our international viewers will be interested in hearing your views on a few areas. So let's get straight to the questions. Uh, hello, Mr. Long. The first question is, what is Arctic promoting at SNEC this year? What are the technical highlights? How do you see current development trends and uh, market potentials for racking products? Okay, uh, this time we brought several pro flagship products here. Uh, totally three products. The first one is a tracker. Check is our major product in uh, Arctic. Uh, we are uh, bring the 2P tracker with uh, multi-drive systems. So with this multi-drive system, the tracker can withstand very high speed wind. So this is uh, the first product. The second one, we are bringing the, um, our, we call a seasonal tilt, uh, seasonal tilt mount structure. Uh, this product just released yesterday. Uh, it is a uh, brand new innovation. With, we call it the wireless synchronous signal tilt. We all know the signal tilt is, is manually adjusted several times a year. But with our product, you can just adjust, uh, just adjust this signal tilt by pressing a button. So it very easily can be adjusted. The third one is the uh, roofing system, we call it the BIPV. It's a real BIPV with a solar panel and the roof materials. So they total three products. So we, if we were to want to talk about the trend of the tracking system, what I think is it should be more reliable, more efficient, more intelligent, and less manpower when starting. What is the company's main focus this year in terms of development? What are your principal goals? How do you plan to continue developing overseas markets? Uh, this year, we, are, we still want to focus our major products and the major market. Uh, there's uh, two directions. One in China, uh, we want to increase the penetration rate of a tracker in China market. We all know uh, in 2019, the penetration rate of a tracker in China is only less than 10%. In 2020, it's only increased a little, a, li a, little, uh, a few percentage. Uh, in 2021, we are we're building a team to promote the tracker concept and to explain the benefits when you use the tracker to the other solar developers and the EPCs. This is in China. For overseas market, uh, we are still in want to uh, increase our market share. We want to uh, have a faster growth than before in terms of the quality, uh, quantity delivered and the market share. Uh, specifically, um, we want to maintain our leadership, uh, leading position in Asia Pacific and the Middle East. In the meanwhile, we also want to improve our performance in Latin America and Australia. Of course, we also want to enter the market in US and uh, Europe. Do you feel the industry is keeping up with the trend toward large-scale modules? Does it have an impact on wrecking companies? If so, how does Actec plan to handle such developments? Yeah, this, uh, 
a big module, it's okay for fixed structure. But for tracker, it has several challenges. Uh, majorly two challenges. The first one is the instability. You know, with a bigger module, you need to have a bigger tracker. The tracker will be wider and longer, which create instability issue for the trackers. So how to deal with this? The second problem is the flexibility of the tracker. As we all know, there are two kinds of solar cells, 182 and 210. And lots of the solar modules. So all the modules have a different size and a different, uh, different uh, open voltage, which means you have a different module numbers for per string. So it creates a lot of trouble for the tracker company. You need lots of the tracker configuration to adapt to, adapt to those solar modules. So there are two major concerns. So how to deal with this? At the Artec, we think is we can use the multi-drive system tracker to deal with the instability issue. And for this uh, flexibility issue, uh, we are bringing some new concept to this, uh, to this in uh, industry. We are building the modular tracker. It means we design some standard blocks. The tracker design becomes the building blocks. So it will be easier for us to adapt our tracker to all the solar modules. Hi. Uh, here is the Arctech. Uh, here we can see our tracker system. It's a 2P tracker with multi-drive systems. You can see two, uh, two through drive here. In fact, it can be as many as five string drives, uh, which means the tracker system can be as long as 70 meters. It can ac accommodate uh, four strings of uh, 210 solar modules. Uh, Besides this uh, mechanical innovation, we also have an innovation with our electrical system. We call it AI controller. AI controller can handle the, the uneven terrain and the cloud from the sky. With the video uh, camera systems, it can analyze and predict the cloud movement. That's why it can increase about 7% of more production for solar trackers.